In my supporter Q&As today, I got a question that asked, will the Sega 3D glasses and light guns work through an RGB to S-Video converter on a CRT, of course? And the answer is surprisingly, yes, it seems to work fine. To test this, I'll be using all original hardware and a pretty fun game called Missile Defense 3D that's both 3D and a light gun game. And the first test will be through the Ashenworks RGB to YC converter. And you could get that right at their website. This is the same place that did that very cool SCART switch. And this should convert the signal to S-Video without any trouble. As you can see, it seems to be working fine, and while I have missed a few shots, this particular SMS light gun that I'm using has given me trouble with direct RGB or direct composite, which kind of further proves that this converter is working exactly as plugged directly in, which is good news. Hopefully I'll find a much better SMS light gun someday though. I also wanted to perform the exact same test using the Linux Bot 3000 converter that I purchased. And just for the record, this is just simply the SCART cleaner just to get the pinout of RGBS SCART to RGB D sub. So it's not converting anything, it's just simply making SCART into a D sub connector. You can get them right from the Linux Bot 3000 eBay store, and they're not always in stock, so I guess if you really need one, maybe just message them and see if they have any extras they could list. Otherwise, just keep refreshing the page every few days and see when they come back. As you can see, this seems to work exactly like the other converter, which worked exactly like when it was plugged directly into the monitor. So it seems like both of these converters work totally fine for S-Video, but not for composite. More on that in a second. So there you have it. While I've only tested the Master System and not any of the other consoles, I can't imagine that any of them would have an issue because you're not changing the frequency of the signal and you're not delaying the signal at all. All you're doing is taking RGBS and converting it to YC. So essentially you're putting all of the colors into one signal and the sync and brightness into another, but you're not really changing anything else. So I imagine this would work perfect on any CRT for any console. However, I will add that in all of my testing, RGB to composite have had some pretty bad issues and it's all in the color space and while it will work, it's not really a good solution at the moment. No one's really figured out the perfect way to get around all of this, and any of the proposed ways to fix it might cause issues with light guns. But using the converters I just showed, going from RGB to S-Video would work, and I think that's a really great solution, because there's many people out there with full RGB setups. So imagine you have a bunch of your favorite consoles connected to a G-SCART switch with RGB cables going into an OSSC to your nice big flat panel TV. And while that's a really clear and really awesome solution, you do lose light gun support for that. So in that scenario, pick up one of these converters, put it in the second output of your switch, and then you would be able to get that second RGB output converted to S-Video, and you could just pick up any consumer grade CRT that has S-Video inputs. So essentially you would have the best of both worlds. Now in a perfect world, there would be a 60 inch BVM CRT that only weighs a few pounds that everybody could have access to, but that just doesn't exist. The, the good CRTs that you have access to are generally medium sized and medium quality, whereas for very cheap price, relatively speaking, you can get a giant clear flat panel TV. So it seems like a good mix of people or a mix of consoles and displays for people that want the whole experience, but mostly want to play on flat panels. So if you're interested in that, at least you know the answer now. Yes, light gun games and 3D games should work when converted from RGB to S-Video as long as you stay on a CRT. Well, that's it for this time. Just a short demo inspired by a question from the supporter Q&As. Please check out my other videos for some retro gaming awesomeness and the weekly podcast that keeps everybody in the loop of everything going on in the retro gaming scene. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.